Welcome everybody. We are going to talk about fetal lung development and fetal circulation today. So I've got, I'm going to break this down into two short videos, but one PowerPoint will work for both of these videos. Okay, so let's just get started. I've got some fun facts maybe and some memory aids for this fetal lung development. So one of the things I'm learning with you, I, we've talked about neonatal is not my specialty, so I'm actually reading and learning also. And the really cool thing to think about this is that this fetal lung development really isn't complete until the child is six to eight years old because as the baby grows, they have to develop more alveoli and capillary bed to support that growth. Um, there are gonna be five phases of fetal lung development that you're gonna to have to unfortunately memorize. But I'm gonna to try to give you something to remember them, okay? So the embryonic, pseudoglandular, cannulicular, saccular, alveolar, all right? Embryo, embryonic, that's a very primitive phase and we're gonna think about buds. I'll explain in a second. Pseudoglandular, okay? We're gonna think about glands. However, these are false glands, they're not real glands, but these glands become the airway. All right, canalicular, you're gonna think of canals. These canals to start forming end up being the capillary bed, the pulmonary capillary bed. Saccular or sacs, well that's pretty easy, alveoli are like little sacs, right? So this is where the alveoli start forming and they finish forming in the alveolar phase, which that just makes sense. Um, and then the, the cool thing is, um, once the baby is delivered, the baby, you know, I said that they only have, they, they continue to form alveoli. So the baby only has 15 to maybe 50% of the alveoli that we have at birth. I actually read in, in Walsh's textbook that the baby has about 50 million alveoli when delivered. But we have 300 million. So through the age of six to eight years, that baby growing into a child has to grow 250 million alveoli. That's wild, isn't it? I thought that was really cool. Anyway, all right, here's our chart. Stages of lung development, okay? So, I'm not a big acronym person, but sometimes acronyms do serve a great purpose, like when you're trying to remember these stages and they're weird words, right? Okay, so to keep the order straight, embryonic pseudoglandular, canalicular, saccular, alveolar, we can use an acronym. Every pulmonary cell starts adapting because that's exactly what's going on. The cells are becoming um, the airways, the alveoli, the capillary bed. All right, the embryonic stage starts from about three to six weeks post conception. Okay, so conception happens in about three weeks up to six weeks. We have that embryonic stage. And remember I said, remember buds. Everything starts out as a bud. There's this one little bud that forms and that's gonna end up being the trachea. And from that bud, two more buds develop and that's gonna be like your main stem bronchi. That's where the differentiation of the trachea and the esophagus starts happening. So in this phase, the main thing that happens Development of the trachea, the major bronchi, main stem bronchi, up to 10 generations, and then the pleura is starting to be formed. The pseudoglandular phase, remember I said gland, they're not real glands. Tissue samples, they look like glands, but they're not real glands. This happens anywhere from five to 16 weeks post conception. The rest of the airways, those glands, become the major parts of the airway and the pre ascender arteries. Cannulicular happens between 17 and 26 weeks. Okay, remember I said canals. Canals equal the capillary beds, okay? So we start developing the vascular bed, the airway framework for those acini, which those are those grape-like clusters of alveoli. The saccular phase, occurs 26 to 36 weeks. We have more saccules. Remember those saccules are gonna end up being alveoli. And we start developing that small microcirculation around the AC membrane. And then the alveolar phase from 36 to 40 weeks is this is where we have continued alveolar generation uh, and the alveolar capillary bed continues to form. So down and dirty, this is what you need to know, main stages of lung development. Stay tuned and we'll talk about fetal circulation.